Welcome back, internet friends. So sometimes, you might want to hard code a set of values as a lookup table for a query. Now obviously, creating a actual table in SQL Server and populating that with lookup values is the better option if you're going to be reusing this table a lot or if many different queries can use it. But under certain conditions, you may find yourself wanting to just hard code some values for one particular query directly in line as part of that query text. So today I'm going to show you four different techniques of how to accomplish that, um, going from kind of my least favorite method to my most favorite method at the end. And so the first way to hard code some lookup values into a query is by using a table variable. Now I know, I know, table variables get a bad rap because the query optimizer is unable to get good estimates of how many rows a table variable contains. However, for purposes of a quick lookup table, uh, they're actually not that terrible of an idea, especially if you're keeping that lookup table, you know, less than 100 rows. Personally, I still never use table variables. I don't like having to define my data types for something that's just a quick and dirty query, uh, but it's an option, it's available to you. Some people really like them. Just be really careful uh, with how they perform. Option two for how we can kind of put these lookup tables directly in our queries is to use a temp table. Temp tables are typically the better alternative to table variables, especially when you're dealing with lots of rows. You can generate indexes on temp tables. SQL Server can calculate statistics so that the estimates in your execution plans are more accurate, so they typically perform better. Uh, but I still don't love using them for these kind of ad hoc hard-coded lookup tables. I don't like them because first you have to kind of define the schema, the structure of the table with data types and that's just a lot of work and then you're running multiple statements, right? First you got to create your table, then you got to insert it unless you do a select into or something like that and then you can finally use it in your queries. It's just a lot of extra steps. Temp tables are serviceable but still not my favorite. All right, so for option three, uh, we basically can union all a bunch of select statements together. I actually like this option a lot because there's very little overhead. You can write your select and union all statements directly in your query. You can include them in the from clause and they just work. Now obviously you don't get to define data types so you might get some weird implicit conversion problems. Um, just something to be aware of, but at least you're not having to define those data types up front. It's really quick and easy to include in a query if that's what you're looking for. All right, it's finally time for option four. This is usually my favorite way of uh, hard coding these kinds of values into a query, and that's using the values function. You're probably familiar with the values function, right? It's what goes after the insert into uh, syntax when you're inserting data into a table. But what a lot of people don't know is that it doesn't just have to come after an insert into. Uh, you can also put it inside a from clause to basically build a derived table of values. So I think using the values function is probably the least amount of syntax you can write to kind of build this derived table of hard-coded values. You're basically just using commas to delimit your different columns, and you're using sets of parentheses to delimit each row, which are then comma separated as well. There's just not a lot of syntax to it, which is why I like it. It makes it really easy to format, you know, lots of different values by just all highlighting and typing them in, um, as well as dynamically generating them if you need to. And so one last thing, this isn't really a technique, but it's worth mentioning since we're kind of talking about the topic. With either of these last two techniques, you can put them inside of a common table expression, which then make them much easier to reference. For example, if you're trying to create a list of lookup values or parameters that you want to join to later in your query, you might throw that in your first common table expression and then be able to reference it with that common table expression's name uh, or alias further on in your queries. So thanks again for tuning in this week. If there's another method that you use for hard coding uh, lookup values into your queries, I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a comment below. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.